We often get asked here at Lalita Loca Cruising, how do I pick out the best cruise? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you 10 things that you gotta consider when picking out the cruise that is best for you. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Tony with Lalita Loca, welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you are into cruising, if you like cruising content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of our uploads. All right, 10 things to consider when picking out the perfect cruise. I'm gonna give you the list of 10, and then I'm gonna give you the secret at the very end of the list. I'm gonna give you the secret of what you need to do to pick out the perfect cruise. Let's kick it off with number one. One that's super important is price. Price is always a consideration when you go cruising. What's your vacation budget and how much does the cruise cost? This will be a significant thing to consider when you are trying to pick out the perfect cruise. Number two is the cruise destination. The port of call that the cruise that you're looking at will visit are these ports of calls that you're interested in? Is this the dream vacation for you? You always wanted to go to a particular place. Can you use a cruise ship to get there? Something to consider when trying to pick out your perfect cruise. Number three on the list is cruise line preference. Have you cruised before? Are you loyal to a particular cruise line? Have you heard something about a new cruise line you would like to check out? What is your cruising personality? Interestingly enough, each cruise line has its own personality. And if you're a new cruiser, something to research is uh, what is the personality of the cruise line that you're going on? And does it kind of align with the things that you're interested in on your vacation? That's gonna be a big consideration when trying to pick out the perfect cruise. And number four is closely related to number three. It's all about cruise ships. Do you wanna go on a large cruise ship? Do you wanna go on a small cruise ship? Do you wanna go on a medium-sized cruise ship? What amenities are you looking for? Do you want a cruise ship that's got a lot of bars? Do you want a cruise ship that focuses on entertainment? Do you want a cruise ship that has a lot of swimming pools? These are all things you wanna consider when you're thinking about the cruise ship that you wanna go on, and definitely a huge consideration when trying to pick out your cruise. Number five is the embarkation port or the embarkation city. This is where you're gonna get on the cruise ship at. Do you live close to an embarkation city? Do you live far away from an embarkation city? How far do you wanna travel? How much time do you have to get to the cruise? These are all things that you have to think about when planning your cruise, which makes embarkation port, embarkation city, super important when choosing your cruise. Number six is another huge consideration. How much time do you have available to cruise? Do you have plenty of vacation time where you work? Do you have holiday time that you can leverage in a way that makes it work well for your cruise vacation? Do you have PTO? Are you able to work when you're on the cruise so that you can get a couple extra days on the cruise ship? All these things are very important to consider when trying to pick out your cruise. How much time do you have to cruise? Number seven, closely related to number six, what is the length of cruise that you wanna go on? Do you wanna go on a short four-day cruise? Do you wanna go on a long 14-day cruise? Do you want something in the middle, seven or eight days? Again, it's related to number six, how much time you have to cruise, but do you wanna spend your whole vacation cruising? Something to consider how long you want your cruise to be. Fortunately, there's a lot of options when it comes to cruise length, but uh, yeah, you gotta consider how long you want to cruise. Number eight, what's the date of the sailing that you wanna go on? This is going to determine what your options are for the cruises that you can take. Do you have time off in the summer? Do you have time off in the winter? Do you have time off early in the year? All these things are gonna determine what cruises are available to you. It could determine what places in the world you can go to on a cruise ship. So the date of your sailing is a huge consideration when picking out the perfect cruise. Weather or climate. A lot of times people think of cruising just as going to the Caribbean where it's fun and sun, but there are cruises all over the world. You can cruise to Alaska, you can cruise up to Canada, you can go to Europe and cruise the Mediterranean, you can take cruises to the Antarctic. So you have to determine in advance, what kind of cruise do you want? Do you want a hot weather cruise? Do you want a cold weather cruise? Do you want a fun and sun cruise? Do you want a chill cruise? The weather plays a big factor, and another component is also weather can play a factor on what time of year you choose your cruise. Hurricane season exists. You gotta decide whether you wanna cruise during hurricane season. Over in Asia, typhoon season exists. There are a lot of considerations when it comes to weather, but weather is a factor when choosing and picking out your cruise. And number 10 is shipmates. Who are you cruising with? 
Sometimes the people that you're cruising with is more important than all these other considerations. Are you cruising with friends? Are you cruising with family? Are they already booked on a cruise ship and that becomes the determining factor how you get on a certain cruise? Or are you a group of people that are working through all these other considerations to pick out the perfect cruise for your group? Uh, there is nothing more fun than cruising with a group of people and sometimes that group dynamic is the biggest consideration when choosing a cruise. Okay, so here is the list of 10 things to consider when picking out a cruise, and it can be overwhelming, right? How do you work all of these 10 things together? Well, here's the secret. Here is the easy secret for how to pick out the perfect cruise. The way to pick out the perfect cruise is to pick out what of these 10 things is most important to you. What's most important to me is not going to be what's most important to you, and most likely it's not going to be what's most important to other people. There are some common things that people always talk about. Price is important, destination is important, cruise ship is important, cruise line is important. But you have to go and look at this list and determine what is the most important thing for you, what's the most important few things for you, and then use that to pick your perfect cruise. At the end of the day, you're gonna be the person that goes on this cruise that decides whether or not it was a great cruise or not. And so you have to be in tune kind of with your personality and how it lines up with this list of 10 to really know what the perfect cruise is. We kind of went through this exercise on our podcast, the La Lita Loca Cruising Podcast. I will leave a link to that above and in the description below. But yeah, on the last episode, Jenny and I broke down how we pick our cruises and uh, I'm, I'm not sure that anybody else would pick it the same way, so I would encourage you to listen to that. And then while we're here talking about Jenny, Jenny is a travel agent, and one of the best ways to work through this list of 10 is to talk to a travel professional, especially when it doesn't cost you anything. Have somebody help you with this list of 10. My wife Jenny can do that for you. I will leave information below how to contact her. Again, it's free to use a travel agent. They're not gonna charge you anything, and it's really nice to have somebody that you can consult and, uh, and get some help with this list of 10 to help you pick out your perfect cruise. The question for the comments is this, what one or two considerations here are most important to you? What do you think about when you're picking a cruise? And has that changed as you've cruised? I think mine's evolved over time. So did you used to have a consideration that was more important that is now less important? I think for me in the beginning, it was all about price. I've evolved, now, now for me it's all about cruise line and ship more than anything, more so than price. Price is third or fourth on my list. So it's interesting in this cruise life how things change the more you get into it. I would love to hear your experience with how you pick a cruise in the comments below. And if you're worried about being stressed out on a cruise, I did a video of things to manage while you're on a cruise to reduce your stress level. I'm gonna leave that video right here, also linked in the description below. I would encourage you to watch it. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Tony with La Lita Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.